Okay, so we're here with Sally from Sales by Sally. How are hey, you, Sally? I'm doing good. You're here to uh, refresh. Happy, healthy. You're here to refresh your boot. Absolutely. We're getting ready for the spring here. That's right. Almost feels like it today. It does. It's beautiful. The snow's melting. A little stubborn snow piles, but uh, they're going away. So, yeah. what are you bringing in? All kinds of new things today. Oh yeah. An antique high chair over here. A couple oh. of good American flags. Very good. Have a new 50 star or uh, yes, yeah, yeah. here's 93 and made in the USA. Okay, but they're new. We have a new coat rack here. Well, it's old, antique, but new to the booth. Very nice. And I always bring in the pie plates. These are good sellers, but this one is for deep dish pizza, which is different. Mm -hmm. But the pumpkin and apple sell the most. And I just brought this in, these sell. I can't keep these in here. They sell all the time. They the, do. I'm... The rib juicers are very popular. Go through a fortune in bubble wrap, Sally. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. And you can always find tins, but they're usually up here on the top shelf because if they fall, they're not probably going to break. And over here, I usually have some mid-century office type things. And I brought a few more things today. I would imagine it's probably the 10th one of these I've sold. These are popular also on eBay, but when I see them, I buy them whether I make money or not because I know people like them and that they're desirable. Mm -hmm. um, another pencil sharpener. I think I've sold every pencil sharpener I've ever brought. So Very good. Those are popular items. And then, of course, anything that the mid-century modern style, which is a little mess over here right now. I'm well, this is why you, well, you're in the middle of, um, I caught you in the middle of revamping. So Yes, I, you did. People so, will understand that. I like this little stand here with the lamp. Mm -hmm. What is it, like a phone stand? It's oh. actually, it's just a lamp. And it's, if you look at the bottom of it, it's kind of Astro style. It's yeah, a little it, bit on the side of, what do you call it? It has a 60s look. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And I don't know if it's a teak or a walnut on the, on the handle on that. I, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. But it looks, uh, what do you call sci-fi or... So how long have you been in here, this store? I have been here, gosh, I think almost 10 years. Wow. Quite a while. Good I for you. I was here when Gail was here. Mm -hmm. It's been quite a while. And how did you get into the business? Well, I started going to auctions with my dad when I was a kid. And my dad always did flea markets on the side. And, and he now has had to stop after his heart attack. He's 83 but he would still just go buy and sell gloves he quit doing just the random things but i probably went to my first flea market with his mother mm -hmm. so i've been around flea markets and auctions and that kind of thing for a long time yeah i uh, went to my first estate sale with my stepmom oh. and i bring things in here from all over the state of new york i get to the other side of buffalo i live up northwest of albany and a lot of these older neighborhoods have some really fun estates to go through. But sure. after COVID, a lot of them weren't happening. So mm -hmm. finding items has been a little scarce, but I'm hoping things pick up this spring. Well, I've always said, uh, so. you know, when, when you look at the history of the United States, so mm -hmm. obviously New York is one of the cradles of Mine antiques. Is. Yep. Yeah. So yep. there's still, believe it or not, a lot of barns and attics and basements yes, that attics still have and basements for sure still have stuff that go back almost as as, as long as the country and and more absolutely yeah. and a couple of those towns were really happening before things all went to china etc and so some of those older estates have some real treasures a lot of fun finds yeah and well that's we, we all like to hunt that's right that's right hunting it's for treasures always is always the best part of the business there's always something to be had or to be found, and it's just, it's really random. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think, oh, I think I'll take this out when I go, and next time I go and it's gone, it's sold. And I'm like, okay, you really don't know. But That's a cool file cabinet. You just bring that in? No, these, and they have the little winged handles, but uh -huh. there are two that match, and they oh. have the keys, and they lock. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you're one of the few, you're one of the two or three dealers in the store that when we get those film companies in here, mm -hmm. they jump on your booth and two mm -hmm. others mm -hmm. yeah for the mid-century yep. housewares right? yeah these were a fun find yeah i actually brought those back from oregon 
I was with my daughter and you're originally from, from Oregon, right? Yes, I am. That... But I was I, I did my quarantine and everything. I'm I'm good, guys. Oh, but, you just uh, came back from Oregon. I came back, yeah, okay. about three weeks ago. I know for, when so. you're from Oregon, you don't say Oregon, you say Oregon. Yeah, it's like Oregon. wagon. You yeah. don't say wagon. No, right? I don't say wagon. So that's but I do say Oregon. I, I don't know why. But um, that's how I do it. Yeah. So. There's always a few fun things, but I find a lot of the shakers and stuff are downstairs. Mm -hmm. So I haven't had as many up here lately, but this is a fun piece. Obviously a yeah. 60s and 70s style. Right. Some of the bottles are here just for decoration, kind of. Well, you have some cool ones, yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't have a liquor license, so make sure they're no, empty. No, no. <laughs> you wouldn't want to drink any of that anyway. <laughs> Whatever residue is in there, so. Yeah. Well, very nice. So, uh... Like I say, we came in in the middle of Sally yeah. redoing her booth, so around. it's uh, it it'll Mel be. Of a yeah. You know, I think I think tonight maybe when you after you leave, I'll do a quick, <laughs> uh, a, a quick scan of the finished product, so to speak. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, we'll sell clothes over here, don't you? I do, and this is is a really cool item. This is from one of the concerts at Woodstock. I just brought this in today, and it's got all the bands on the back. Oh. And I, oh, one of I, the uh, reunion concerts they had up there. Yeah, and you can see who yeah. was there. This is actually a very popular item on eBay. So I have it here at 50, and they're running 99 and up on eBay. So. I think uh, I'm just looking at the bands, trying to get guess yeah. the year. 94 is the year that the oh, concert 94. was. It okay. says right on it. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep. Right here. You can stand here for an hour and guess from the bands, yeah, right. or you could just look at the shirt <laughs> and it gives you the date. Any old thing will do, yeah. right? Let's take a look at some of the clothes you have over there. I've got more coming, mm -hmm. and I've got some more fabrics and notions coming. I just didn't have them measured out, and mm -hmm. I try to get things cleaned up. And um, Well, I know you do sell a lot of this stuff. I do. I mean, I call that my Carol Brady outfit. <laughs> Well, Carol Burnett, maybe. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Could be anything. Yeah. Whatever you want it to be. And, uh, I mean, this one is, I want to say handmade, but it actually has a label in it. This is a really nice piece, and it's pretty old. I bet this is probably early 50s. Really? Not late 40s, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, there's some nice pieces in here. Uh, I thought all the clothes were in black and white from the 40s. What's that? I thought all the clothes were in black and white. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, what was a colored TV? <laughs> yeah. How old Lots is this uh, How old is this crib here? I believe this here is probably 40s to 50s mm -hmm. uh, from what I could look. And, um, of course, it's not child safe and doesn't have a seat belt in it. But it's a nice piece to decorate with. And you have, of course, some of the ladies that do that with dolls or teddy bears. Today's cribs have seat belts? Well, they have straps and oh. they have safety things oh, where okay. you can't pinch or do whatever. Shows so. you what I know. Mm -hmm. And this is a sewing box? And that's a sewing box, and that's probably, again, probably 40s. Yeah. It's pretty old. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Real cool. I sell quite a few sewing boxes here. Mm -hmm. and, I sew, and I sell a lot of different buttons. Um, the coat buttons tend to be popular, the, lar whoops, the larger coat buttons, and sometimes I will buy a ratty old coat just to salvage the buttons and, mm -hmm. and can get we rid make of the, the coat. Can we make the jack-in-the-box work? Yes. Yes. You, you showed it, me the crib, now you're bringing me back yeah, to right? my ute. All right. Pop goes the weasel. There you All are. right. Very cool. Back in there with you. Where the hell's your sleeky? Yeah, where's Furby? I had a Furby here, but I think Furby sold. Ah. So Furby's Furby's not around. Um, but I do sell quite a few jewelry boxes. They they tend to be pretty popular. You actually have a pretty good collection of the old bottles, so. Yeah, I brought a few more today. Mm -hmm. Not one that I just brought. This flask here was up in the attic in the 1890s rental that I have. We were up there doing some insulating, and it was pretty dirty, but. I didn't clean inside, I just got it wiped down pretty good. You can tell by the cork, it was pretty hmm. dirty. I'll have to get the bottle man to look That's at it. That's why my fingers always look like this. That's raggedy, the original raggedy. cork on it? Hmm? That's the original cork? Yep. Wow. I'm thinking it yeah. was in the attic. This was in that attic too. Oh. See that one I didn't wipe off, but yeah. Was... Well, you have a lot of good stuff here, Sally. All kinds of goodies, yeah. Yeah. Mid-century, a few antiques, 
A lot of mid-century. Yeah, no, I've been surprised. I mean, this I took time. This is similar, too. Is this, is this um, 60s, too, I think, right? Maybe even earlier. Which one are you looking the, at? The this lamp? lamp here. Yeah, and that one, that one I want to get an adapter from Amazon. It takes a mogul base, but they have a, an adapter that you can screw in to put a regular light bulb what kind, of bulbs, what kind of bulbs? What kind of Well, a mogul base is big. It has oh, a big, I see. Big base. Oh, I got you. Okay. So, but uh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice holly sign here. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is Actually, that? Actually, that's, that's. What is the material of that? Do you know? It's an old wood plaque that they did lots of shellac. They did that in the seventies a lot. Yeah. Um, a lot well, back was, in the seventies. Sorry, folks. There's glare from the window to my left. So. Oh, a couple little items. This glass table is cool. Is that, and that from the seventies? table. That glass table is probably more of the sixties. It 60s. is in a uh, uh, what is it? The uh, Maison Jensen style. And that three-piece table is hard to find with all three pieces. Mm -hmm. I do have it priced at twelve hundred. And oh, they I know the, the, the two ends separate? They separate, oh. so you can put on either end, yeah. or you can make a little round table with that. That's a pretty cool design. But yeah. um, I know that those, they have, oh, in the high 3,000s on stuff like First Dib and Cherish, and of course I'm not trying to go there with it, but that price is very reasonable for but what that, it is. Mm -hmm. You're up there. Well, it's a stag of some kind, but his horn is off again. <laughs> Oh, I get see. his horn put back on. Yeah. It slips right in, but uh, yeah. he's still here. What is that material? Is that? I am not real sure, but it's definitely a hand carved piece. Oh, actually, it's mm. nice. Yeah. You can see it almost looks like a a walnut, maybe, but it's interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What they do with his horn? Right on the file cabinet. There we go. Yeah. He put you back in there. But his horns come out. Yeah, as he laughs. And... So how is your husband Kevin doing? Kevin's doing good. Yeah. He's working a lot. Which, that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, it's keeping him awfully busy. Yeah. Well, he's uh, he's great at what he does, and he's in high demand. That's for sure. Yeah. He's very busy. He is a an engineer, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, the semiconductor, and we were down here. And in fact, there. wasn't he in demand in Europe for a while? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I think I still have one or two pieces here that I bought at flea markets in France. Mm-hmm. I'm digging these old radios. Yeah, they work. Mm -hmm. I always check everything, and, and if something doesn't work exactly, I'll get some advice from him. He's, he's good at that. Yeah, I'm sure he is with his background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he did that in the military, the avionic electronics and all that kind of gearhead stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he could probably tell you better. All right, well, that was Sales by Sally. I'm going to take a quick look uh, tonight. I had, I had it backwards. That's why. When, when you're... I uh, had to put his horns in the right way. They were... I had to switch. When you're done... Um, oh, well. Redux in the boot there. I'll I'll do a quick scan of the yeah. finished product, so to speak. And uh, trying to get it figured out here. It was uh, great to see you. And uh, again, that's sailed by Sally. Quick quick look at the face. <laughs> yeah, she's real. All right, and we'll talk to you soon, Sally. Yep. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.